Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn a topic called the components of information system. So before we get into the concept of what are the components of information system, just we'll have a look about what is information system. So as for the definition we can go. A model that expresses a fundamental conceptual framework for the major components and activities is called IT system. So he says that when you try to build up any kind of information technology or information uh, systems, in that one you need to have a framework. So what are the components that you are going to have in that framework? So we'll be seeing about that today. So when we talk about this information system, it also highlights the relationship among the components that are there in the information system. So it also uh, emphasizes on the concept of all the types of information systems that we are going to use. So today we are going to see what is the framework of the entire information system that we are going to use in the security mainly. So information system preserves. So you can see the entire information system is based on all the concepts of these people, network, data, software and hardware resources. So as a whole, when you try to take the IT system, so you can say information technology system, this is going to consist of all these components. So now we are going to look after one component after the other. So initially comes our the first resource that is nothing but the people resource. People, people play an important role wherever you go. So even in the information system also, the people play a main role. In this one, we come across two kind of people. Uh, one is end users and the other one is IS specialist. So end users are those people who are going to use our product. So when we create anything, for example, if you try to create an app, the persons who are going to use those apps will be basically considered as end users. So even in your information system also, we do have end users. So they can be a customer, salesperson, at all the levels that you take. And I, uh, I specialist, it says that information security specialist. When you talk about information technology systems, there must be people who are going to develop and operate the information system. So there are many kinds of people that come under this category, especially the system analysts and software developers. So when we talk about the important component of this entire information system, that is people. People are very, very important ingredient in the entire information system that we are going to take. The first one is end user and the other one is IS specialist. These are the two kinds of people that are very much required for the construction of our information system. Then comes our hardware resources. So you know about hardware resources. So hardware resources are nothing but the physical devices uh, that are being used in the information crossing. So you can talk about what are the physical things that you are going to have. What are the physical things that you could have for any kind of uh, system that you take hardware resources you can easily guess so such as computers that you are going to use apart from that one you can also say the data media so you can say what do you mean by this data media data media means where you are going to store your uh, entire data so a small example is being given like tangible objects on which data is recorded so there are many a data media that you could take like your pen drive, your hard disk, your any other devices where you are going to store your entire data. Those also come under your hardware resources also. Apart from this, there comes your computer system. This is very very important apart from your people. Without this, we cannot call that as information technology system. So in this one we do have your CPU units, microprocessor units and 
a variety of interconnected devices such as interpreters, scanners, everything whenever you are trying to take the structure of your system. We know that we are not at all going to use nowadays the standalone systems. We are trying to use the systems where we are going to connect that one either in the form of wide connections or wireless connections. So entire setup comes under this computer system. There comes your computer peripheral, whatever the external devices that you are going to connect to your computer are basically called as your computer peripheral. So there comes your keyboard, mouse, whichever you are going to call them as input devices and similarly you can take out your output devices also. As a whole, your entire system with all the input, output, all the devices, those come under the concept of hardware resources. Next comes your software resources. Everyone know that software is nothing but collection of instructions. The same goes over here also. So if you take this one, in this one we are going to use some sets of operating instructions called programs at which direct and control the entire computer hardware. But also it is used to process the instructions. So there are, there are different types of softwares that we are going to use like system software, application software and procedures. Already we came across this system software. This system software is nothing but your operating system that you are going to use. And application software, you know that application softwares are like uh, many uh, in apps that you are going to use. For example, if you are going to use MS Office, it's an application software. You can say it as a package also. So there are some procedures that should be involved while you want your system to run perfectly. So there comes your concept of drivers also. Those are also some of the uh, software resources that we are going to use in uh, information security. And there comes your data resources. Fine, fine. So till now we have seen how people are going to play a main role, how you are going to take up your hardware, how you are going to take up your software. Now we are going to see how you are going to take up your data. Data is very, very, very important apart from your people because so as to do anything in the information system, you require data. So data can be of different types. Like you can take uh, images, you can take videos, you can take voice messages, whatever you take. Everything comes under the concept of data only. The data resources of information system are typically organized, stored, accessed by variety of data resource management technologies and tools. When you are trying to take this data, like whatever you are going to store on your hard disk or your in pen drive or your disk, whatever it might be. So those can be accessed by many number of data resources. So it could be a database that holds processed and organized data. So we can store our data in the form of a database or you can store that one in the form of knowledge bases that can hold the knowledge in variety of forms just like facts. So you can take up the data either in the form of a database or in the knowledge base. Data resource is nothing but the data that you are going to store onto your hard disk or whatever. It could be of any form like simple text image, video, everything. Network resources so as to connect the entire thing like people, hardware, software, data and if you wanted to put that one into the network you require the network resources. So it completely emphasizes on the communication technologies that you are going to use. Either you are going to use LAN or you are going to use MAN or you are going to use man, van or LAN or you are going to use the resources like wide or wireless everything will be decided over here so in this you can see the communication media includes twisted hair, wire, microwave, cellular wireless technologies so when you wanted to transfer your data from one place to the other place or if you wanted to copy your data onto something then you require two things, wide communication and wireless communication. So this communication media will be talking about how you are going to transfer the data used wide communication and how you are going to transfer your data through wireless communication like infrared, 
wireless technologies etc so that is how you are going to take up your communication and what do you exactly mean by this network infrastructure it mainly emphasizes that many hardware software and data technologies are needed to support the operations and use of communication networks so it says that when you wanted to build up when you wanted to build up a network obviously you require many devices in between like you or require hubs you require switches you require modems so in this network resources we'll be talking about two things one is communication media how you are going to communicate or how you are going to transfer your data from one place to other place either you are going to take that one with wireless or wired connection and one more when you wanted to set up the network what you are going to use what are the feeds that you are going to use either you are going to use stand alone systems or you are going to use any base stations in between or you are going to use any kind of modem switch so you are going to take up everything into network resources so this says that when you talk about the components of information system the five components that we talk about are people software hardware data resources and finally comes up network resources so so this is the end of the session hope you guys have understood the concept of components of information system